Texas Land Commissioner and Attorney General candidate. The primary is coming up. George P. Bush joins us now. George, what prompted you to, to declare and ask for this type of label? Well, Texans have had enough. This is a historic surge of illegal immigration, of illegal activity in border communities, a record amount of fentanyl and narcotics being smuggled across our border. And under the Constitution, it's very clear under Article 4, Section 4, the U.S. national government is compelled to protect the individual states and that under Article 1, Section 10, states like Texas can rise up and protect itself if the federal government won't do its job. And so that's why I'm declaring this an invasion perpetrated by bloody drug cartels and human traffickers because Texans are calling for actions since the Biden administration won't do it. So is now that you've formally called for it, what would change? So I, I'm running for an office that would allow me to actually do something about it. I've been talking about this idea for months. Uh, it used to be states like Texas that would lead on this charge. It's actually Arizona and Attorney General Mark Bronovich that has led the charge legally on this argument. Uh, but the next step in this process is for our current Attorney General to draft an advisory opinion to this effect and for the governor to step forward and have that flexibility, that statutory authority that he has to further strengthen uh, not only our border but to back our law enforcement officials who are hamstrung and unable to enforce federal immigration law. And finally, I'd say this, Brian, as the next attorney general working on overturning U.S. versus Arizona, which restricts local county law enforcement officials from enforcing federal immigration law. Because once again, right. if this president is actively going to work against law and order, it's, it has to rest on the states to do the job. So here's a, a recent poll was given. They asked, uh, they asked the American people, how's President Biden doing on the border? 27 percent approved. 60% disapprove. But, you know, he has his left wing demanding the Title 42 be dropped, saying it's racist. Why does he seem to care more about the left wing than the majority of the American people? Well, it's a misguided policy. Even Democrats in, in Capitol Hill are rising up against lifting this Title 42 policy. Several are presenting a bill to extend this for a month, perhaps two months, to hit the pause button and saying, Mr. President, this is the wrong decision. You know, this president has been in office for over 40 years. He's a career swamp creature, never been to the Texas border. Kamala Harris has only been here once, spending more time in the air than actually on the ground talking to Border Patrol officials, asking for their advice and their counsel as to how to address this issue. And they tell me unanimously that Remain in Mexico policy and making sure that Title IV stays on the books are the two last remaining measures that we have to turn back this historic surge of illegal immigrants that could exceed 18,000 a day on our southern border, most of whom, by the way, are encountered on the Texas border. But, uh, George, uh, they say that uh, right now, the Remain in Mexico policy should be put in place. A judge demanded it. How is it that the federal government is ignoring a judge's order? Only this presidency would do it. He has acted outside of his constitutional bounds on multiple occasions, thinking that he has Article I powers when he really only has Article II powers. And so that's what, why a race for attorney general is so essential to make sure that you have constitutional conservatives that hold this president accountable developing investigative capability and building the evidence necessary to hold them accountable and remind the public that they're ignoring their constitutional mm -hmm. duties, whether it's on Remain in Mexico, Title 42, or even telling ICE agents not to arrest illegals unless it's incident to a violent crime. We've chipped away at law and order for right. way too long. It's time for some new leadership. You know, the, the, the sense, and I watched a lot of Capitol hearings, that this is such ineptness that it's intentional. Do you believe it's their intention to break the border? Absolutely. President Biden called upon the idea of not building another inch in, uh, on his watch. And in Texas, we're going to build miles and miles as land commissioner. I'm already building miles. But we're doing what we can. We're going to roll up our sleeves where it can do people. And I'm thankful to have the opportunity as land commissioner, as a candidate, to be a part of the process to rebuild our country. And when I was flying back from Galveston this week, I met a man building the Texas wall, who was supposed to be building the federal wall until they shut it down. So there is a wall being built by the state of Texas, which is just sad. You have to do that to protect yourselves. Uh, and it's high tech. Uh, George P. Bush, best of luck in your May primary uh, as you, you aspire to be the next attorney general of Texas. Thanks so much, George. Thank you, Brian.